Hello and welcome, Arctic Fox here, and we are back for some more Boyfriend Dungeon. Last episode, I believe we just um, met Rowan, I believe, and um, we also got uh, her, uh, um, them, them. Um, okay, so let's go on some dates for now before we go to the dungeon. First, let's go to then. You have a Sawyer. You arrived to find Sawyer and Olivia arguing. Uh. No more freebies. You haven't worked here for like a year. <laughs> Come on, just one more measly sandwich. I owe you f a friend. I owe a friend big time. Please. Is your friend Art by any chance? Huh? How did you know? Hi. Oh. Um. Hi, Art. I'm just um paying for both of us. Uh. Us both. Sawyer digs in her pockets for money, blushing. Oh. Here, I found this. How many of these can I give you? They hold out five lumps of sugar in their palm. Olivia shakes her head. Sawyer seems slightly panicked. If I pay, they're gonna be kind of... The sh the, do they have an uh, ego or something like that? Um, let's just talk. Mm. Olivia seems to come to a decision in size. She summons a smile for you. It's fine. Keep your money, both of you. Just take the sandwich, please. Go on. But Sawyer, I swear to all the gods, this is the last time, okay? Yeah. You bet. Thanks. You're the best, Livy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am. Not when Seven was around. You sit at the table. It doesn't look like Sawyer has anything to eat. Um, <clears throat> you want to split oh. this? Oh, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. As you eat, you see their eyes tracking your sandwich carefully, unable to stop staring. No, no, don't slow down. Sorry. Let's talk about something else. Um, they swallow hard and avert their eyes. I insist. At your more forceful invitation, Sawyer takes half of the half and wolves it in two bites. Thanks, good stuff. Here, uh, I want you to have this, okay? Sugar. They give you a few lumps of sugar. Few sugar lumps. You awkwardly stuff them in your pocket. Sawyer smiles, pleased with themselves. Hey, I was looking online yesterday and a lot of weapons in Verona Beach are getting chipped lately. Maybe there's something about the dry summer heat that makes us brittle. Um, maybe someone's doing it. What? Chipping us on purpose? A serial chipper? I'm not sure what the point would be. I hope we're not getting... Uh, targeting students in particular, that'd be so creepy. Sawyer's eyes wander back to your plate where only crumbs remains. A wildcat growls, erupts from under the table. Is there an animal loose in here? After a moment, you realize it's Sawyer's stomach. Sorry, jeez, even after you shared your sandwich with me, to be honest, I can't afford to eat much. I had a good job for a while and I get free rent from my mom, but it's hard. How do people afford eating anyway? Is everyone rich? Restaurants are so expensive. And they rip people off. Scones only cost like 10 cents of flour and 10 cents of butter. I'm in a business class and it seems to me someone could disrupt that market easily. <laughs> Cut out the middleman. By the ingredients yourself. I could make an app that tells you how to make a dish like, res like a restaurant would. It saves costs, 
by not paying the, a waiter or hostess too. Boom. What do you think? <sighs> Personally, you're stupid. <laughs> you're paying the labor. Um, you just invented cooking. Oh yeah, cooking. That's what it's called. Uh, this is all so dumb. I don't know. I hate business stuff, to be honest. I'm more into history class. I was just taking it for easy credits, but everyone in the class is so competitive. I had to come up with a business idea for my semester project and this is all I got. My next step would be documenting the process. Cooking, to use the technical term. But I don't even know how to boil an egg. I tried once and ended up with a black husk. I could teach you. That would be amazing. I'll do a little research on egg boiling first, but then I'll hit you up for lessons. If I bring the ingredients, could we could we does it will you do you think Wait. Sorry it takes a breath and gathers their courage. Is it a date? We'll see. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll um, I'll I'll try to play it cool. Yeah. I gotta get to history, but let me know when you're heading to the dungeon. I did some first aid on my cracked blade, and I'm ready to fight again. Throw heavy attack. Grow throws glaive, immobilizing enemies. They can still attack. Okay. Bye. Talk to you soon. You head home. Okay. You find a scrap of paper that has been slipped into your window from outside. Two, I guess that's 407. Hold on. Mm. There's four that is upside down, five that is upside down. Another five that's upside down, two that's upside down, and then seven as a upside down. Hmm. The paper is thick and strong, as if torn from an old book. It has a series of numbers and markings on it. Some are upside down. address you try it as an IP address backwards and forwards you worked at it for a while but all you get are 404s errors you study it for a while but aren't sure how to use the information helpfully you set the puzzle aside for now itching for a more physical challenge it looks like another beautiful California day outside all right let's see our phone um, I don't want to read that yet. Sounds like to boil an egg, you have to use a lot of water, like a whole potful. So that was my problem. Uh -huh. I'm smile at her. Them. All right. Um, uh, do we have anything to craft? Nada. Um. We still have to go to Sunders. Um, I think that's the only thing that we need to do. I can't talk to Rowan yet again. All right. Um, I think that's it. Let's go to the dunge. Oh wait. Um, let's talk to him first. The music is dark and coppery tonight flavored with industrial tones <laughs> Sunder returns from a break outside with a wild glint in his eyes love rank bleeding enemies do less damage bleeding enemies move slower um, 
Let's go with Sticky. The music gains ferocity and speed as you dance. Eventually, the night draws to a close and the club empties. You stumbled outside. The crowd of loiterers smells like gin and cigarette smoke. A screaming pierces the chatter. Oh my god, someone call 911! People gather around something on the ground. Oh, mm. is he dead? I don't know. That's messed up, man. Go home, people. It's all right. An ambulance already on the way. Uh. I don't have the energy for this tonight. Take care of it. Yes, sir. Sunder stalks away towards Kick's cafe. Eh, follow him. You go to the cafe. The cafe smells like coffee and buttered pastries. Mm. Uh, welcome. That one's your friend, right? We're closing soon, so hurry it up. She waves you nervously towards Sunder, who's lounging in the corner. Hey. hey. He seems distracted, restless. Uh... There's something I haven't told you yet. I don't really know how to put this, but if you don't like me afterwards, I guess that's fine. Everyone has problems. Not like this, trust me. So you know how sometimes you have a craving for like chocolate? Hmm. I don't. And then some people are made of chocolate. Hmm. No, this isn't working. Okay, uh, let me start over. Once there was a beautiful princess who promised a young man he could live forever. Ah. Hey. Speak of the devil. Huh. People, you're craving for chocolate. People are like chocolate. <laughs> right. How was my timing? Uh, uh, yeah. Perfect, Mandy. Hey. And he's always. You can only date him at night. I know what he is. Okay, okay, this has become so mm, messy meal tonight, huh? Should we have brought a bib? Uh. What? You came here to just rub it in? So the guy, <clears throat> so the guy that was in the the alley was probably bitten. Sucked up the blood by Sunder. Vampire. Fine. Art, listen up. You'll be here all night the way he tells it. So I'll just tell you Sunder's 200 years. Yep. 200 years old. We use blood transfusion, fusions, transfusions to stay young. Wait, you're mm -hmm. vampires? Mm -hmm. Yep. Sunders shrugs it off. <laughs> See, being upfront makes it easier. Not like Art is a vampire hunter. Vampire sh vampire. <sighs> Gee, I can't imagine why I want to pretend to be a good boyfriend instead. Uh... Whatever. Time to go, Sunder. Leave your playmate to think about being your food. Hey. Don't be ridiculous. I'd never eat art. He's special. I'm a vampiric sword, not a, not a monster. You should just own what you are, kiddo. All of it. Denial is a bad look. Art, don't listen to her, okay? I'll text you. I still want... I still... I, I want this to work. Somehow. Oh. Don't pressure. You kept a pretty big secret, so give him time to adjust. Sunder leaves, eyes downcast. Don't get me wrong, Art. The problem isn't just Sunder's a vampire. Though it can't help that you smell like dinner. Oh, damn it. Sorry. I'd use this whole thing as an excuse to get far away. Here's something to remember us by. The shadow lurking in every eye. Dark essence. She hands you a small pouch. It smells sinful. <laughs> Can I be a vampire? 
Mandy leaves without answering. <laughs> Alright. Your eyes happen to on the weird slip of the paper from the other day. Okay. You wonder if it may be somehow a phone number. It could be... You pull out your phone and enter... Mm, 2 Then uh, 0 Then uh, 7 You enter each number that's right side up Finally, I've been waiting. It's a phone number um, I solved your riddle you were, m you were multiple meanings in the numbers There were multiple meanings in the numbers, but good enough It's Rowan Yo Come to my house when you have a moment I have a use for you. Dang. They hang up. Oh, I guess he's, um... Alright. Rowan... to his mansion. What is up? Bam. You find Rowan uh, waiting outside the mansion. They gave you a brief nod. I suppose you want me to invite you in for a tea because people do that. Um, no thanks. Good. I was going to go, go look for an herb on the mountain. Crowley, 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 Crowley thought you might want to help. The bird looks at you pointedly from Rowan's shoulder. Nice to meet you, Crowley. Crowley bobs his head, clicking his beak. Pretty human. Pretty human. If he vouches for you, that's good enough for me. Let's get going. I'd yes. enjoy the hike. It's settled then. They start walking off towards the hills. You walk together along a narrow trail in a silent companionship. Here, Alice once found Laurel Sumac and black sage here somewhere since the hike is over uh listen don't get any wild ideas i need you to do something please just rest here right on this rock i'll be back i'll help thanks but no i'll handle this stay put they wade into the underbush without looking back you wait for a while the breeze is soft and the sun is warm. But a guy can only take so much breeze and sun. You start feeling antsy. Uh, wait patiently. Your eye slides over the landscape, your mind drifting away. You started you startled at the sound of footsteps and realize you fell asleep. Wow, you actually waited. You must be less chaotic than I assume. I found the Laurel Sumac, but not the Black Sage. I wonder... Would you like to offer a gift? I wonder what he likes. Piece of mostly sugar. Sweet, fruity, yet surprisingly strong. Um, I don't know. You decided not to give a gift right now, because I don't know. Oh well, it's too late anyway. No. Do you wonder? It doesn't matter. I have to face this. It's just me now. Alright, I have something important to ask you. Mr. Scythe. Have finishers create a temporary gravity? Mmm. If you were to wield me, what would be your end goal? Love. Rowan laughs darkly. Flattery comes so easily to you, Silver Tongue. Like music to a songbird. They lead you down a mountain, silent in thought. At the edge of the town, they pull a black rectangle from their pocket. Our dark prisms are connected. They poke their prism and your phone vibrates. I don't know if our purpose align purposes align quite 
but call on me. Your souls need harvesting. Farewell. Farewell for now. Goodbye. Goodbye. They go on their separate way and you head home. Alright, crafting, nothing, crafting, nothing. Mirror, nah. Phone, check. Sunder has a ma message. Sorry I didn't tell you sooner. I was afraid you'd leave. Now you know what I am. What do you think? Vampires are cool. Sorry, really? I guess I'll see you in the dunge. I guess he didn't like that answer? Hmm. Weird. Okay, Rowan. Our journey is be is begun. We are the fool. Mm -hmm. The fool more like a is like a like a tarot card. So I'm gonna answer next the magician. <laughs> Indeed. Though I've lost my high priestess. Yep, he was talking about tarot cards. Hey, so I'm really very sorry for how I acted when we met. I was really emotional, and I took it out on you. And that was wrong. Please, can you forgive me? Forgiven. Thank you. Godspeed. Alright. Off to the dungeon we go. Nothing else, right? I think that's it. Let's go to the new dungeon. Level one, level one. Um, let's start with Rowan. Let's see how he how he works. La Rosa. Da, 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 da. This place is so dark and empty. Like home. Ooh. Ooh, that's cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. We have turrets here. Ah! Oh, that's. Oh, boy. Wait. Let's see what this is. It says fear. Um. And we're fighting. I would assume a disco light and some. Uh. Oh my god. Ah. This is hard. Alright. Okay. That. Got a glue. can level him up or max him up right away. Ooh! Is this the cat? You find a set of blades. Bladed brass knuckles. Looks like some of the claws are missing. An engraving engraving on the side reads pocket. Hmm. The energy of this pocket is different from the others. Meow! At your touch, the metal begins to stretch and grow. Kitty! <laughs> Aww. Meow. Offer hands to sniff. The cat
cat eyes you warily but allows you to come closer. You find a phone number on his collar. You put it in your phone before he scampers off. Alright. Uh, kinda ooh, ooh. That's an interesting um dodge. Ow! Ow! His dodge is like a teleport. Cool. Mm -mm -mm. Thanks. Oh, okay, we're gonna read that right now. Uh, okay. Just got a message. Pocket. Uh, let's see. My cat was missing for a while and just reappeared with this phone number in its, his mouth. So I guess you found him? Thanks. If so, I was really worried. No problem. Text me and I'll let him out. He likes to roam. Let him out. <laughs> Looks like he's headed to the park. A little killer. Little killer. So we got a date with the cat in the park. Interesting. His the the sights range is like pretty good. I just oh the gravity part is like slow. That's the only problem with it. Ow! Ow! Oh. No, I'm not gonna. There we go. Have that. Stuff. Right. Ow. Ew. Ow. Oh, the hell. How? Okay. 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 Bam, 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 bam. Well, go on then. The sage is waiting for you. What should I do? Don't ask me. You're the extrovert with all your energy meeting new people, adventuring into dungeons. You try to interrupt and correct them, but they don't let you get a word in edgewise. Hmm. Your heart has led you to th you this far, and it's done well for you. Now, what does it say? Um, I could see. You can't quite finish the sentence without laughing. The idea seems preposterous. Well, suit yourself, but mark my words. One day, you will be under the spotlight. All eyes will be on you and your true self will be shown to the world. For better or worse. Eh. I don't think he'd like any of this. Hmm. I don't know. 
maybe not right now. Uh, I don't think he like anything that I have right now. Please be max already. Ah, missed five. Okay, I guess one more, one more stage, and then we'll we'll move on to Sawyer, the next floor. Why is it gotta be like right in my face? Oh my god! VIP, VIP section. Hmm, how adolescent. It's amusing when people try to separate themselves to feel important. Solitude has so many uses and benefits for me. But exclusion is a, a side effect, not the purpose. Hmm. But how can you really think properly when you're not alone? Talk it through. I suppose that's what I do, but with Crowley, he is a harsh judge, but fair. Either way, a dance floor won't serve my purpose, sis. Let's move on. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, we move on to Sawyer. Move on to Sawyer. Alright, let's see this. Back, crown. Ooh, interesting. So your face lights up at the sight of the pool tables and cues. Finally, another long weapon t to talk with. Is she thinking the. <laughs> it's been forever since I've chatted with my Polax friend. Hey, pool cue. <laughs> How's it going? Knocked anything over by accident lately? It's not a person. Oh, saw your size. I just wanted to make another long friend so badly. How embarrassing. Most weapons are light and slashy. I feel self-conscious around them being all unwieldy. You're great the way you are. Ah, thanks for saying, even if you don't mean it. And if you do, just shh. I'd like to offer a gift. I'm assuming they would like pizza. Oh, it's just 50? Lame. Score! I mean, uh, thanks so much. This is pretty cool. Let's get back to it. She, she didn't like pizza that much. That's lame. Oh. Haha! <laughs> this is. Wow. He, they're basically the range of the game. Ba -ba -ba. Alright. Ooh, what the hell is that? And there's a hand too? Ooh. No! Get away! 
Get away, get away, get away. Ooh, nice. Every time I every time I throw the glaive, they get chained up or something. Cool. So many, so many, so many. Get away. Ah. Ooh, no. Ah. I'm getting hit too much this time. Bow, bow, bow. Right. Okay. Oh, there's one more. Ooh. 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 No. Get away. Are you kidding me? Ah. All these range attacks. Not fair. Are maxed already. Let's change weapon again. Um, mm, let's continue with seven. Now, this weapon is the best. The laser saber is the best. Music just changed right now. That's weird. Interesting. Chain lightning. Ow. Okay. Hmm. Be again. What is this? Ooh, a patio. Seven releases a long exhale, as if he's been holding his breath. You sit together quietly on one of the benches. Can't see that many stars here in Verona Beach anymore. Too much light pollution. When I was growing up, I loved stargazing at the con at the constellations. I even had a little telescope. What a nerd. No, I'm kidding. Um, mythology. Hmm. Both the science and the myths, I guess. Yeah. Giant balls of gas who are also heroes and creatures. I track my favorite constellations every night. The Pale Dancer, an old goddess of, uh, of death and victory. Uh. Then we move to Seoul. And I couldn't see constellations anymore. I watched music videos instead. Let's go start gazing sometimes. If you want. Maybe if we can... We went to the beach at night. Sometimes we could see more. Would you like to offer a gift? Uh, I wonder if you like cupcake. Here, have some cupcake. Ooh, 75. He really liked that. My agent would never let me eat this, so I better be quick. Ha! <laughs> Even just this little rest has recharged my batteries. I think let's get back to it. Seven stands and stretches into his uh, energy blade. You feel his warmth in the electric crackle. Bow. 
found. No! I'm cornered! I'm cornered! Ow! I don't have any more heals. This, uh, this is bad. there. Whoa! Can't do that! Fancy drinks always looks like an awful lot of effort. Would you like to offer a gift? No, I don't have anything for you right now. You decide not to give a gift right now. Little umbrellas or smoke or foam or at the very least, so much ice shaking. Maybe it's because I don't really drink much, but I don't see the point. Mm. Novelty. <laughs> Maybe I should be glad I don't care about novelty much. Seems expensive and tiring. We have a way better things to do together. Anyway, like beatdowns. Instead of the uh, stairs, we are going back to the ATM machine. Which was right there. Okay. Gonna. Liquidate. Mm, access 5. There we go. And then we go to the secret shop. Up. Oh. Seems you're worthy to shop at the heart of Verona. Hmm? Let's see what he has here. Hmm. Do I have any of these? I don't have none of these. So I have a lot of these. So I can buy that, buy that, buy that, buy that. Um. Let's see. So I can buy holy energy and buy one more of that. Let me grab some steel and then buy another white energy. Another no. And then another white energy. Um let's see.
Uh, I get one more dark essence tomorrow, maybe, and then I think that's it for now. As you wish, stay safe out there. Get out of my face already! Can't you see I'm shopping here? Oh, sorry. No, he didn't max. Hmm. I'm gonna have to max it. Alright, let's get this. Looks like I'm damage. I'm doing nine, uh, one, ten k damage. What? Boom, boom, boom. Zines recipe. Nice. Ooh, what is that? More money. table. Play some pool table pool with seven. What do you think? Am I more more of a solid or a stripe? Huh? Solid. <laughs> I guess my new workout is effective then. I'll have to stick to it. Or did you mean emotionally? You're one of those you're one of the only people who knows the real me, you know. It's a new feeling. He's mass. <laughs> Thanks for taking some time to recharge our batteries. He flashed into a weapon form, ready to return to the dungeon. Bro, 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 how can you see me? Whoa, a secret. I just found a secret at random. Bow! Doing a 10k damage. Bow! Hmm. That's right. I mean, I think it's he should be fully level right now that I don't really need to kill the most majority of these guys. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Ha! <laughs> But I guess I need the materials. Okay. But okay, so we're just gonna end this section area right here and then we'll go back to that secret area. Yeah, that 10 the 10k damage is just ridiculous. There, so there's no more. We are going back to the secret area. Alright, let's see what's in here. Ooh. Aren't you guys monsters from the mall? Why are you? Why are you here? Dress recipe. Zine. 
a drink, and helmet recipe. Cool. Alright. We now go down again. And then we'll use our next weapon since 7 is maxed. Next weapon will be. Let's do Valeria. Alright. Oh, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think this is a good idea. Oh my god. Fresh air down here. Now that is the most magical, fantastical thing I've seen yet. She breathes in deep, filling her lungs with the warm night air. Would you like to offer a gift? I'm guessing she would like daisies. 50? What? Oh, thank you, really. You gotta love summer nights, or do you? What's your favorite season? My favorite season would be personally I like winter but I like spring. I don't know much about about plants but I like seeing them sprout each in turn waking up. I guess I sort of love all, all the seasons at least in places that have them unlike Verona Beach. Maybe someday we can go on a trip together somewhere with an exotic climate. But first, we have to survive the dunch. Girl, we died like a couple of times in here already. And we somehow managed to survive. Okay. Stairs. Uh, next level. Ooh, boss. Boss floor. Boss floor. This is definitely a boss floor. The sound, though. Dang. Flopping into a seat feels good. You realize you're more tired than you thought. Fighting takes a lot out, out of you, doesn't it? Would you like to offer a gift? No, I don't have anything for her right now. You decide not to give her right now. Maybe we've been pushing ourselves too hard lately. Uh. Val Valeria stifles a yawn. But it's not too late to learn from our mistakes. It's safe. How about a quick catnap? Zs. Valeria lips quirk up into a fawn smile. I'll say in, in this shape just in case we get, we get ambushed. She slips her hilt into your hand and you soon doze off. When you open your eyes, Valeria's already up and her edges are gleaming. That was perfect. I'm all charged up. Let's go. Hmm. Alright. Ow! 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 What the hell? Ooh, this is dangerous. 
dangerous. Ooh, this is dangerous for Valeria. Ah, this is dangerous for Valeria. No. Weapon. We'll go with Isaac first. La Rosa, 10th floor. Ooh, scary. Ooh, 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 no, 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 no! Oh, I don't have any zines. No. Well, this is unfortunate. here. I don't know. Looks like it, but we'll see. Ah, I keep forgetting about the parry. That's fine. Ooh, another one of these. Cool. Isaac takes a deep breath and releases it, looking pleased. Would you like to offer a gift? Yes, because this one is definitely for him since he's the one that wears suits. Yup, there we go. My tail will adorn me for using these. Thank you. Ah, finally, somewhere I can breathe. And is that pine I smell on the breeze? You know, just looking at the tre at trees reduces stress and love lowers blood pressure. I believe it. I tried putting up posters of trees in my office, but they didn't have the same effect. Nothing like the real thing, I suppose, in nature or in object. No matter how much I enjoy dueling, the dungeon is, some is where the real growth happens. Now it's time, f time for looking at, at trees. Now, now's not the time. For looking at trees, now's the time for action. Yeah, there we go. Bap, 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 bap. Oh, wait, no, what am I doing? No. Oh, what is up with that? You stop it. I think that thing was like waving all over the place. Ooh, that's big. That is big. I don't have any heals. Oh my. Alright. So, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That thing's scary. No! Oh no. We're gonna get killed. Are we gonna get killed? No! Wait, that thing is still alive? Okay, he's gone. There we go. Ooh, wait, I thought that's dead! Oh, what? Ah, <sighs> lame. Alright. Level 
21 22 23 24 and 25 and we're going we're we're still going 26 there we go that's the end of it go home all right uh ba -ba. You remember today's your birthday. Another year closer to. Oh mm, God. I'm not alone. You think about all the friends you've made recently and can't help smiling as you get up. You find a package outside your door waiting for you. It's from your mom. And cool to the touch. Inside is a birthday cake. She must have schemed to make sure it arrives refrigerated. A note says, to my only son on his special day. You're about to cut a slice when there's a knocking at the door. Answer it. You longingly set the cake aside and go to answer the Hi, door. Cuz. Happy birthday. I uh brought a friend. I hope that's okay. Hey hey. Couldn't oh. resist. I mean, bye to see you. Mm -hmm. What about seven? My mom said she sent over a cake and we Brought some little presents. Nothing special. Speak for yourself. I'm always special. That's why I wanted somebody else. It's tradition for a birthday boy to use a weapon friend to cut the cake. What? You up for it, Sunder? Uh. Sure. I won't have any watching my uh diet, but I'd be happy to help cut. What do you think? I mean, we don't have to follow tradition. Mm, I have a knife, and you know how to use it. I can vouch for that. Uh huh. All right then. Get cutting if you dare. You carefully slice the cake into even pieces, and Jesse takes a slice. Hmm, that special birthday cake flavor is so vanilla, so sugar. You sure you don't want any sunder? It's so fresh and moist. Uh huh. See, Seven would have liked that. He'd like some sweet. Oh, I'm sure. I've been on this diet so long, it's not even a temptation. But now's a good time to give Art my little gift. Here. Sunder hands you a small box. Inside, you find a small framed photo of him. You can't see me right now, but I'm rolling my eyes. Uh, no. God. <laughs> I know this place is Jesse's, so I thought I'd give you something to make it yours. Ugh. Fine, I love it. Aw, you don't have to say that, but I'm glad you did. Of course. I hope you think of me when you see it. I'm not sure what else he would think of. Anyway, here, I got you a little something too. Phoenix cap recipe. Jesse gives you an envelope. You open it and find assembly instruction for a Phoenix cap. It's a kit that the hat looked like look a little dorky anime, but it sounded useful for the dunge. Can't wait to make it. Good. I almost went with shock socks or a wheat stone. Oh, brave wheat stones are really personal, man. I mean, I wouldn't mind letting Art use one on me, but I wouldn't assume. Okay, okay. I get the message. Well, I didn't get one. Crisis averted. Well, Art, you're another year older and wiser. Congrats. I'm glad you shared this birthday with us. Here's here in Verona Beach. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's been so much nicer here since you moved to town. La Rosa's way more fun. Wait. <laughs> Something's wrong here. I wake up in the morning. How is Sunder here? If he's a vampire. Hmm. There's something wrong with there. Anyway, have an excellent day, handsome. I hope to see you soon. See ya. Sunder gives you a lingering kiss on the cheek. On the way out. 
close the door behind them and consider how to spend your day. Mm. See, it's still morning. How is he able to walk out? On your way home, you find a new, a few ingots of steel on your doorstep. They're heavy and cold, but wrapped in a ribbon. An attached note said, reads, for art. You carry it inside. Okay. All right. Um, I guess this is where I'm gonna end this episode. It's quite a long one. Um, because the dungeon was long, but thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.